Hi, and thanks for joining me today. So we're talking today about tuning, but um, we're going to do this in a number of parts. Um, when I originally thought of putting together a video on tuning, I thought I would have a single video. But as I thought about it some more, I realized there are really some preparatory steps. So we're going to talk today about some of those preparatory steps, and then, then in uh, the next two videos, we'll talk about uh, the tuning itself. So today we'll talk about preparing the pegs and installing the strings. So of course the first step in putting on a new string is to remove the old one if, uh, if you haven't already done so. Let's take, care, let's take care of that right now. Okay. All right, so I'm unwinding the peg and removing the string and it's off. Next, to remove the peg itself. Easily done. Okay, so I have the peg here. Take a closer look at it. Okay, this is actually not in bad shape, but I have removed it for the purposes of demonstrating what we're about to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is to moisten a tissue with some rubbing alcohol. Using that, simply clean off the peg from any dirt or debris that may be there. Okay. And you can see that much of the previous detritus has been removed. Our next step is to apply some compound that will help to keep the, keep the pig in place and also make it uh, a little bit easier to turn. It happens too often that we're dealing with pigs that are uh, seemingly frozen and it's important to, to, keep the, um, to keep them properly lubricated so that they both stay in place and can be turned easily. To do that, we use peg compound, sometimes also called peg dope. So this particular material uh, actually looks like a lipstick. Uh, I did buy this from my luthier. So the first step is to make sure you're aware of where it's actually impacting the inside of the peg holes. On, the, on this particular peg, it's pretty, it's pretty evident where that is. So let me come a little bit closer. All right, I hope you can see, hope you can see this well. So what I'm going to do is add a little to these, to this track, if you will, where it comes into contact with the inside of the peg holes. We want some, but not too much. Okay. So, I hope you can see those little stripes of compounds that I added to the peg. Next, <clears throat> reinsert into the, into the peg hole. And kind of work, kind of work it, work it in a little bit so that it's evenly distributed. Now we're ready to install the string itself. Okay, so now we're ready to, to put the string back on. Now the end near the, <clears throat> excuse me, the end near the tailpiece has already been installed. So now let's put this end into the peg. Now first make sure that the hole there we go. Make sure that the peg hole is in between any other string that may be there and the inside of the peg box. All right, we don't want the hole to be on that side. We want it to be on this side. Okay, so now we insert the string. Okay. 
Normally this would be easier because when you're doing this at home, you don't have to worry about the video camera and a clear view. Okay, so insert the string. Uh, you can see, or at least I hope you can see, that the tip of the string has made it all the way through. So now, wind it once or twice on the side away from the peg box. Okay, now push the peg in so that as you continue to wind it, it crosses over and basically overwinds the other part of the string that's already there. This way it catches on itself. Okay, and then make sure that the, uh, this is hard to do, as I say, while you're, while you're keeping it within view of the camera. Okay, I hope you can see the windings of that peg. Let me make sure that the other end is still in place. Okay. Whoops, there we go. Okay. And now we keep winding so that we have sufficient tension to keep going. Now, okay, so the string is now installed so that it will stay put. We still need to increase the tension so that it comes up to the correct tip, to the correct pitch, excuse me. Now remember, <clears throat> as you're tightening it some more, always remember to exert pressure this way into, into, the, into the peg hole, because remember that friction is the only thing that's keeping it in place. So I'm gonna make sure to you probably can't really see, but trust me, I am exerting pressure into, into the peg box as I'm turning it. I can probably finish it up using the fine tuners. And that should about do it. The whole process, of course, needs to be repeated for each string that's getting installed onto the instrument. Again, we'll talk about tuning itself in the next couple of videos. Uh, those should be coming along in the near future. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can either reach me through my website, see the address below, or you can leave a comment here. Uh, if you need a response, it's probably a better bet to try to reach me through my website. I hope you will click on like for this video, and I hope you will also subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope to see you again next time.